Edna Mae Harris was a dancer, actress, and singer from Harlem. She was one of the first and best of the late 1930s and early 1940s who starred in some of the best race films. Edna Mae was born September 29, 1910 in Harlem, New York. She is the youngest out of her five sisters. Her father Sam was a boxer and a custom inspector and her mother Mary worked as a maid. Her family is one of the first families to migrate to Harlem. They settled near the Lafayette Theater. Harris went to Wiley High School in Manhattan and she worked at the Alhambra Theater doing dramatic sketches with the stock company during the summer after her sophomore year. Edna associated herself with veteran performers and this resulted in her receiving excellent training in dictation and stage delivery. She was also an excellent swimmer in high school. In 1928, she entered the New York Daily News Swimming Meet and won a championship. Sanger and actress at the Waters, along with activist Maud Russell, would frequently visit her home. They are the ones who convinced her to go into the show business, and they coached her on singing and dancing. After that, she began to perform in the Theater Owners Booking Association, and she performed with them from 1929 to 1933. Anna May's first major appearance was in 1930. She played Zeba in the play The Green Pastures. It showcased an all-black cast depicting stories from the Bible. Six years later, the play was turned into a Hollywood film and it was produced by the Warner Brothers. Because she did such a great job in the play, she was asked to return to do the same role as Zeba, the sassy girlfriend of Kane. She went on to play in other Hollywood films such as Bullets or Ballads, Private Number, and Garden of Allah in 1936, but majority of her popularity came from independent produced race films. Edna was in high demand in the black community. In 1938, she was a leading lady in the spirit of youth. She co-starred with heavyweight champion Joe Lewis. This movie parallels Joe's real life. She played Mary, his girlfriend, in this film. Behind the scenes, Edna May and Joe Lewis were dating, and they started dating sometime between 1939 and 1940, and there is no record of when they broke things off. She also starred in some of Oscar Mashaw's films. Oscar Mashaw was a successful author, film director, and independent producer of race films. The movie she played in by him is Lion Lips in 1939, she played Elsie in this film, and she played Freddie in The Notorious Eleanor in 1940. She dated her co-star from Lion Lips, Robert Paquin, in 1941, and they dated for about a year. Other independent films she was featured in are Paradise in Harlem as Doll Davis in 1939 and Sunday Centers as Corinne in 1940. Sometime during the 1940s, the making of race films began to decline, so Edna would not appear in many more roles. She did appear in a couple more Hollywood films, but only doing small parts, and she did not get credited. Throughout her career, she made a total of 14 appearances between 1936 and 1943. Outside of acting, she toured with the Noble Sissels Orchestra as a feature vocalist along with Lena Horne and Billy Banks. And the May also did some things in the broadcasting industry. She did character dialect parts for the Columbia Workshop program. And in 1942, she announced a weekly radio show at WMCA. This was a popular radio station in New York. She also did some entertaining at a nightclub in Harlem called the Old Elks Rendezvous. And she performed as a mistress of ceremonies for three and a half months. In her personal life, she was married two times. Her first husband is Edward Randolph, and they were married from 1933 to 1938. Her next marriage was to Walter Anderson in 1951. He was a nightclub owner in Harlem. They were married until he passed away in 1983. In 1994, she was in the documentary called Midnight Ramble. This documentary is about the history of race films between 1910 and 1950. It also gives homage to Oscar Mashaw. All through the South, they had midnight ramble. You see, that was at 12 o'clock at night, and it lasted till 2 in the morning. And most of the theaters that had that was those colored theaters down South. If you want to watch it, it can be found on the Real Black Ones YouTube page, and I'll also list it in the description below. Anna Mae Harris passed away on September 15th in 1997 at the age of 87 from a heart attack. Anna Mae was a very beautiful woman with a soulful voice and big personality, and she was so full of life. Her talent really showed on screen. Anna Mae will be remembered.
Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think about this queen. Unless there's a hole in it, it ain't no good. A purse ain't good. It ain't no good. Unless there's a hole in it, it ain't no good. It ain't no good.